Python on hardware time. All right, there is a bunch going on. So for Python on hardware this week, I'm just going to jump right in and talk about some of the things that's in the newsletter. Go to adafruitdaily.com, sign up for the newsletter. There is a new microbit Python editor that's in beta. This is really good, and this is kind of where I thought a lot of uh, educators um, would not only want to go, but it seems like where things are going. So um, the Microbit Educational Foundation has their new Python editor. You can check it out. Um, they're going to release it to the community. You can um, give them feedback right now. And the idea is it'll make learning Python and or just computer science in general a little bit easier. There's a lot of Microbits out there, so check it out. And if you're a teacher or an educator, um, now's your chance to put in some feedback. Uh, Tom's Hardware has a review of the Pimeroni Servo 2040. They use CircuitPython for that. Um, you can check out the CircuitPython online IDE for classes. This is uh, one that you can use in a classroom setting online. You don't have to download anything. And there's new updates now where uh, each student gets their own username. Um, and then the instructor can check out what the students are doing why they're doing it, and you can uh, review that on GitHub. And it was accepted to the American Society for Engineering Education 2020 conference. Um, I'm going to skip over to some of the very specific CircuitPython news, because there is a bunch. But if you want all the MicroPython news, all the CircuitPython news, all the so Python, hardware news, Python hardware news, it goes on and on and on and, and on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, so specifically to CircuitPython this week, uh, PyCon, the team is there. You can say hi to Melissa, Katni, and Jepler. They're running some sprints, some classes, a bunch of stuff. Uh, and if you can't make it, you can probably poke around on our GitHub repo and check out what they're doing there. And then on Twitter, um, we have a CircuitPython community. You can join. Just check out the Adafruit profile on Twitter and we moderate the community. So that's one of the new tools that are inside Twitter. Probably need it more soon for the upcoming changes of Twitter. Um, but it's uh, kind of a real time, like here's some things, here's some questions, here's some stuff that people are working on. I'd say it's not as one-on-one -on -one as Discord, but if you're someone who's really into Twitter or if you just want to share your projects, that's also a good way. And when you're in the CircuitPython community on Twitter, those messages only go to the people that are in it. It doesn't go outside that, but then those could be uh, shared. Hmm. So we have a little code of conduct for it that you just have to hit OK that allows us to make sure, like, hey, this is like a nice place for nice folks. Um, you know, be excellent to one another is kind of, it's kind of the vibe there, too. So check it out. And if this is something you want to join, come on by. Be sneaky. And then uh, we have a new release of CircuitPython. It's a beta. Yeah, it's... Uh, beta 2. Yeah, so I guess the... Um, I don't know, the big news that I think is the CircuitPython merge uh, with MicroPython. That was done a while ago. The the latest stuff is... Um, Jepler worked on a lot of oh, right. RP2040, because this is the beta 2, yeah, so there's yeah, a lot. Sorry. This is like, you know, all these changes. But the latest thing that recently came in was floppy I.O., some tile grid work, um, NeoPixel timing has been really improved. Uh, Dan Halbert worked on that, and then Jepler worked on the RP2040 PIO. Um, we can do a lot more with PIO now, including um, looping with DMA. So um, some neat things that people couldn't do before, you can now do with uh, our CircuitPython uh, assembler. Okay, all these delivered to your mailbox every single week, Adafruit Daily, and that is this week's Python on hardware. Yeah, I forgot we added the MicroPython changes. We, we do time. that all the time, but it's just like yeah. we've been adding little fixes since. Keep but adding. it's also important that we are up to date. With Test it out. You're not okay. wrong.